everybody. So today, let me start out with saying, yes, I realize that I'm looking a little washed out here, but I guarantee there's good reason for that. So I was looking around on other, you know, YouTube things and just kind of looking at other makeup videos and everything. And I came across a really cool trick and using liquid lip and kind of a moisturizer type of product and mixing it together and making a liquid blush out of it. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. I wonder if that works. So I thought, well, why don't I come up and see and go ahead and try it and both see if it works and if it does at the same time, show it to you all. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I do want to stop and say real quick though, I am dedicating this video to my dad. A while back I was talking to him on the phone and I was kind of explaining my whole, you know, channel and the videos that I do and so after kind of explaining it he says, so you make videos and put them online like makeup videos? What, like showing how to put on like makeup and rouge and things? And I was like, rouge? Really? Who uses the word rouge anymore? I'm like, yes, dad, I'm making videos on how to put on rouge. But then lo and behold, here I am doing a video on how to put on apparently rouge. I just, I thought it was so funny. And so I was like, oh dad, you're killing me. But uh, anyway, so I just had to say that as odd as this sounds, this video is dedicated to my dad. Yeah, so let's get started. So I, so the um, the video that I watched showed someone mixing a, a lotion, a moisturizer or something, and a liquid lip. This won't work with regular lipstick, and I don't think I would even try this with like a lip gloss type of thing. This particular one that I'm going to use today is from Anastasia, and this color is Hollywood, I think. And anyway, so yeah, they mixed this and uh, moisturizer together. I also, I was um, digging around looking for something to mix this with, and I came across, I forgot that I had purchased this a while back. It's MAC, it's called Strobe Cream. And I'm, there's part of me that kind of thinks like, I don't know why I bought this because I pretty much bought it and then I've never used it, but it's kind of like a cream that has almost like a little, a little I don't know, like luminescence or something to it. And it, um, I then kind of went back online and was reading about it online and on the MAC website. And it has tons of vitamins. This stuff is apparently like super good for your skin. But anyway, so I'm going to try this. I think this would be a really cool cream to try this with. So... Like I said, we're gonna try it and see if it works. The girl online, I actually saw this on a couple of different videos and they all mixed it on the back of their hand. I don't care to mix things on the back of my hand. I don't, I don't know why, I don't like that. So I am going to use just a loose powder thing here and I'm gonna go ahead and mix mine on here. So here we go. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this out on the top of there, just a little dab. And then I'm going to take my lip, liquid lip, and I think she, they kind of did this type of thing and squished some out. Oh, the lights are kind of, but anyway, so you'll see they're both on there and uh, a brush. Let's see. I don't even know what this brush is. It's some little Sephora brush, but anyways, it's just a little, little brush. So I am going to mix these. Make kind of a little puddle of creamy blush here or rouge. <laughs> rouge. That word is so funny. I think I remember my grandma having this little teeny tiny tube and it was probably called rouge, but my grandma used to always call it, um, I'm gonna go put on, I'm putting on my face. And um, growing up, I always heard her say that. And, but I think I remember her having like this little teeny tiny tube that had really, really red and she'd poke it on and blend it out and everything. And I think that was called rouge, but 
anyways, that word cracks me up. So I have this all mixed up and I am going to use a beauty blender, damp beauty blender here. And we're going to dot some on there and then I don't want to like just glob a big glob on. So we'll see, kind of pounce that around on there for a second. And here we go. We're going to see. I'll pull the mirror closer. I'm going to step out of the way. All right. Hmm. It always looks so easy online. So here, we'll, we're going to see. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bright, but damp beauty blender. And I can blend that out. I am thinking that's really bright. Although, here's the deal I can see with this. Look at that. That's a little bright. I don't know if it, like, Everyday makeup and video makeup are two totally different things. So to me, that looks a little bright. But if I look if I look at the screen, it doesn't look too too bright on there. I think I went a little like with it, but that actually works. I so to kind of let you know what I did to prep. So I just put on my foundation and um, I always put it on with a damp beauty blender, and so I didn't do any sort of powder or anything. I always like to put all my cream stuff on first, so now that I think about it, I could also sort of see, yes, it looks a little bright to me right now, but if then I go through and set it, um, I would set this with a translucent powder, but if I go through and set it, um, it might kind of diminish it a little bit, but yeah, that works pretty good. That went on super quick too and like blended right out. I think I got it a little high up here, but hmm, not too bad. I think I'm gonna try it real quick though. Also, um, let me grab something else. I'm gonna try this mixing it also um, with just plain old, this is um, an Aveeno um, Positively Radiant. This is just a random like drugstore brand um, moisturizer so I'm gonna try this also mixing it with that so that way if you're like oh but I don't have Mac strobe cream I don't know that you need it because I know the person online none of the videos use that that was just what I happen to have so I try this again on the back of another little Kleenex here another one and Mix that, just plain old moisturizer. It's looking about the same. I'd be willing to bet you could also get away with using a little less of the liquid lip. That way you're not, not necessarily wasting it, but you know, you're not using it all up for your blush, but. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna use the beauty blender that I just put my makeup on with. And so go ahead and that's what I would have done. And I'm going to use the rounded end again of this one and pounce it on there. And we'll try it on this side. Ooh, this is awesome. I am loving this. Yeah. So that side's a little bright. But that side, not too bad. Okay, the one thing I can see, it is a little easy to kind of start going all over. So I would just like pounce it just right in the little areas of your cheeks. I don't have any sort of contouring on. That might be a little low. Go over this part with my beauty blender. Might take a little bit of work to perfect this look, but I think this is a cool, that's kind of a cool trick. I was sitting here thinking when I was kind of first starting and I got out my liquid lip, um, which I don't have it actually on as I don't have anything on right now as lipstick, but I think it would be kind of cool to try a monochromatic look with this where you did your eyes, your blush, and your lip all using the same color and then do like a really smoky black and gray eye or something like that. I think I might try doing that with this look, but 
I think that looks pretty good. Um, I really like, I, blush and I, I have a hard time with blush. It seems like it goes from not enough to way too much really quick. And the more I play with makeup and things, the more I find I like doing my foundation and I've kind of been playing with cream contouring things. I like doing all of that stuff and then doing translucent powder all over. A lot of times if I start like trying to blend a whole bunch of things, you know, you got your contours and your blush and your highlighters and everything, that pretty soon it just looks like a big muddy mess on me or, you know, I kind of lose the um, the different colors or whatever it just all starts looking the same but anyways I'm gonna go ahead real quick and like I said it's a this side's a little bright kind of a lot bright I don't I wouldn't wear it out in the day or wear it out and about like that but probably for video it actually shows up really nicely um, I'm gonna set this also actually I'm gonna set it with this this is just a NYX finishing powder and it's kind of a white powder and so it's just translucent but Anyways, let's set all of this. Oh yeah, that like that actually softens it quite nicely. I would probably also, you know, do a little contouring and I like doing the little highlight powder, but as far as just blush goes, this is kind of a nifty trick. Oh yeah, see, okay, for me, this side looks perfect like this is how I would go out but I can see now it's a little there's a lot of stuff floating around in there Whew. it's this powder I think um this side looks oh, I just stuck my hand in it Jeez. sometimes I wipe that off or I make a giant mess and I have rouge everywhere <laughs> it's just a funny word to say rouge <laughs> anyways okay so dad 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 just cracks me up but yeah, that looks pretty good for, you know, video side, everyday side. So yeah, I think this was a pretty cool trick. Again, mine, I used the Anastasia um, liquid lip in Hollywood and I mixed it. I think this strobe cream is kind of cool to mix it with, but if you don't have this, it looks like you could mix it with any sort of just, you know, any sort of moisturizer. And what a cool trick, like, that's one more thing that you wouldn't have to bring on vacation with you. A blush and a big br blush, br big blush brush. That's hard to say. So there's a couple of things. Like if you're just going over night somewhere and you're kind of packing light, that'd be a cool trick to, to take with you. So anyways, like I said earlier, this one's for you, dad. I hope y'all found this video interesting and somewhat informative. I... I just learned something so I'm so excited to kind of play with this and like I said I think I might look into doing a monochromatic look with um, with all kind of the same color so stay tuned for that and if you like this please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below always looking for new subscribers and until then bye everybody Rouge. oh dad that's so funny <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,